All right, we've gotten to the point in time where uh, the fry are ready to be released. They've, they're past the button up stage and you can see them swimming around here. So it's time for us to release them. We're gonna first take some water out so that we can get a hold of them. Now we're gonna put them into little containers so the students can each have them to go release down at the nearby creek. Just a reminder, don't shake them. <laughs> Be very gentle. So go ahead and gather kind of around in this area. And I want to ask you a little bit, look at this area right here. And look, do you think that this is a, would be a good place for our fry to, to release them here? Do you think this is a good place? Right, right in this area. Why, why, what do you think? Yes, no, maybe? Uh, I'm thinking now because of the violent water. Okay, so you're saying there's a, a violent water. What else do we see about yes, no, maybe this is a good place to release the fry? I think so. Yeah. It's a little, it gets too deep down at the middle, and uh, I know sometimes big fish will hide out around here. Okay. We don't want our little fish to think about, think about what, what the fish need, and think about what we were providing for them back in the classroom. Food. Okay, well, they're going to need food. That's good. Okay. More, really important, yeah. More what? More, oh, okay, he brings up a good point. There's not a lot of, what would that be? The rocks inside the aquarium were shelter and cover for them, right? Right here. Is there a lot of cover here? No, right. Where might we be able to go? Up Think about downstream. up or downstream? Downstream. We could go up or downstream to find a better habitat for the fry? Yeah. yeah. That'd be a good idea? Yeah. Let's look here. Now, someone let us here. I don't know who did this, but let's look. Is there, is this a good place to release our fry? No. Why not? What's... Violet. Well, is there cover for them? Yes. What about on the banks? No. The banks are pretty eroded, aren't they? There's not a lot of undergrowth and brush in this part of the, of the creek. So maybe it wouldn't be the, the, the best place. Dude, look around the stream. What do you see a lot more of here than we had over there? What do we have? What do we have much more of in this area of the stream than we had over there? Cover. Okay, a lot of cover, right? A lot of trees, a lot of undergrowth. Come on this way. All right, ladies and gentlemen, eyes up here. You have to listen carefully. No, one thing to point out just really quickly, some of you heard, look at this area around the stream as compared to downstream. What do you see different? Okay, look, you're, we're standing amongst it, right? Yeah, look at all the cover, the trees, the underbrush, and the things. Look even into the stream and look at the, uh, the brush that goes into the stream. So this is a good spot to release our fry. Now one quick thing, when you release them, you don't want to just take the cap off and pour them in. What you want to do is take the cap off and you want to actually lower it into the water so there's an exchange of water and kind of let the, the fry swim out. Okay, don't just turn it over like this. Does that make sense? You guys down there, go ahead and do that. Take the lids off. Take turns and then rotate through so everyone gets a chance to do this. Don't fall in. Mr. Rock. <laughs> <laughs>